the potential of what our pharma sector can do. But again, uh, this is DD Dialogue, uh, we're talking about the union budget also. Uh, if you can uh, get some uh, views from you about the manner in which directly or indirectly you see the budget addressing the concerns of the uh, pharma sector, research and development is something that uh, finds a focus each time. We'd like to learn from you, uh, your expectation of the manner in which uh, it will play out and also just to turn to our audience members, uh, this is also open to you uh, at any point in time you'd like to participate, uh, share a view, pharmaceutical company, medicine, something that touches all our lives. Uh, you're most welcome to. Our volunteers will pass the uh, mic to you. Uh, Mr. Chakrabarty, if I could uh, come uh, with that question to you about the budget aspects. Uh, how satisfied are you with the manner in which the budget addresses the concerns of the healthcare sector as a whole and uh, pharmaceuticals in particular? Thanks, Rupendra. I think uh, at an outset, uh, I must uh, compliment the union government. Uh, it's one of the best budgets uh, for the pharmaceutical sector, per se. At an outset. In fact, I fondly remember the, the day before the budget was presented in the parliament, uh, Dr. Rahul Gaulikar, the head of uh, All India Radio here, called me for an interview. And then I expressed a couple of points. One is uh, the hand holding of the industry in the research and development. And the second is creating that synergies from the academic with, 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 the, with the necessary R&D, what is required. I think both the points were really uh, addressed uh, in, the, in the budget. Of course, I think it's a way ahead. Uh, we are talking about uh, how we can handhold the industry in R&D and uh, helping these uh, uh, institutes like NIPER, IC ICMR, IITs and all, not just in the molecular uh, invention, but how we can have a, a total uh, alignment, a holistic alignment with the industry, with the academy. That, that is the need of the hour. So far, we are leaders in the world. We are, we are considered the generic powers. And the future is going, going Fast. It's not only in, in the biology and, uh, and the ke chemistry, but also in the drug dis uh, 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 dissemination and uh, drug administration. And the whole lot of things are going to change. I think the, the journey is a little tough to maintain the leadership position. I think uh, the government's uh, hand holding uh, is very much essential. It's, it's going in the right direction. The only thing is we need to assess how it is going forward and how much they are really allocating uh, for, for this particular uh, uh, COE, Center of Excellence. Sure. I think uh, that we have to ask uh, Madam mm -hmm. Sitaramanji. I think this message goes to her also. We wish to know how closely it is monitored. This is already, I think, uh, uh, the <coughs> Joint Secretary Mr. Yora Singh stated the other day that the moonshot, uh, they were already, al already identified. There were uh, around seven Center of Excellences were identified. They are working on it. But we need to go into the details how really uh, they help uh, into uh, developing the new inventions and how it really goes to uh, going to help the industry also. I think a lot of things are there. But budget in, uh, per se, it is helpful. But the other, uh, one more thing uh, I wanted to mention because uh, we belong to MSMEs. What is there in MSMEs in the budget? Hmm. And we wanted to know the whatever the new inventions, I think they should not be monopolized. Hmm. So what my point, my personal point of view from the industry where I am representing from CI and uh, Federation of Pharma Entrepreneurs, we, we want this uh, uh, a total control uh, of the union government, whatever is helping, be it, be it risk funding, be it uh, the funding for the R&D and uh, extending the help in other ways to all these uh, COEs, the Center of Excellences, can be shared with the MSMEs. Okay. Group of industries. Okay. So that uh, uh, the effort will drag. And if I can make 